everybody. Plasticity 2025.3 is here. There's a few killer new features that I'm really excited to share with you today. So let me get started by looking at the new instance functionality. So what is an instance? An instance is a virtual copy of an object that is linked to the original. So there's a couple new commands. For example, the create instance and realize instance commands. I'm going to run create instance on this screw detail. And what it allows me to do is it creates a duplicate of this body, but the duplicate is linked such that if I edit the original, the, um, the duplicate will always be updated simultaneously. Now, this can be really useful for repetitive details. Let me make a radial array um, of this screw detail. And you'll notice that the curve array, radial array, and rectangular array commands now have this make instance option so that when I create them, all of these guys will be linked together. Now they can all be updated simultaneously. Now what I just showed you is instancing an individual solid, but one of the key features of instances in plasticity is that you can instantiate not just solids and curves and sheets, but also groups. So for example, if I take these bodies, so the original and these uh, nine other instances that I created, um, if I put them in a group, and now with the group selected, I run the create instance command. Now I have this, uh, this single object, this single object that, that we can manipulate as one and make as many duplicates as we want, including, for example, with rectangular array and so forth. So without getting into too much stuff, the first thing I want to show you is just as you're when moving bodies around in plasticity, you can set a custom pivot. So here I'm going to set a custom pivot for this instance. And then I'm just going to, I don't know, we'll put this here, this detail here. Okay, I don't need this. We'll duplicate this. We'll duplicate here and we'll duplicate here. And now, anytime we edit our original body, all of these are updated simultaneously. Okay, so working, so you can instance a body, you can instance a group. Let me show why working with groups is kind of the preferred way and the more powerful way to work with instances in plasticity. Now, if I, I'm just gonna delete these real quick and let me hide this group. And I'm just gonna cut everything in two along sort of the Y plane. I'll delete this half of the bodies. Now, I'm gonna take all these bodies and I'm gonna put them in a group. So everything is in group two. Now I'm gonna make an instance of this group, create instance. And here I can either run the mirror command or scale this instance by negative one on Y, which is kind of my preferred way of doing it. And what, this allows me to do is this entire half of the body, or this entire half, it's just this virtualized object of all of these guys that edit in real time, right? And so as I make changes, every, both sides of the object are updated simultaneously. Okay, so I've set up a similar situation just to reinforce the basic idea. I have a couple sheet bodies in this group, and then I created an instance of the group and mirrored it along the x-axis. Now, you can sculpt, sculpt the CVs and update the bodies in real time. And when you eventually want things not to be mirrored, but real objects that you can edit, you can run the realize instances command, which will convert these to real bodies that you can sculpt independently and, of course, I don't know, loft, for example. Um, if you were making a beautiful car body and I had a little bit more talent, you would see that now. Okay, next cool new feature. Now, it's been a couple years that Plasticity has had this feature where you can edit the edges of planar faces, and it's kind of an unusual feature in a CAD program, but it can be very useful during the blockout phase of getting basic shapes of objects down but it's been quite limited in that it only worked for planar faces. And part of the motivation for that is 
we don't really want arbitrary edge editing if that's going to lead to weird, difficult to work with spline surfaces. We want to try and preserve analytic surfaces to the extent possible. So we've introduced a new feature which allows working with conical surfaces and cylindrical surfaces and so forth. Any kind of circular edge can now be transformed and you can use that in ways to create, you know, cool new blockouts of shapes. This is also an alternative to using the draft command when you're working with conical or cylindrical faces. And yeah, this can be very cool and used in creative ways to really dial in shapes and adds a lot of flexibility to the direct editing capability, capabilities of plasticity. So now that we have a beautiful work of art showcasing my incredible 3D modeling skills, I'm going to show another awesome new feature that took a hell of a long time to implement. Um, so what Plasticity now has the ability to share documents on the web. So it is disabled by default because we want users to not accidentally leak intellectual property or whatever. So if you go into the preferences of Plasticity and you go into web publishing, you can turn it on or off. It's off by default, like I said. And then once it's on, you can run the publish to Plasticity share command. You'll get a little warning about how much data it is. Because this is the web, it is important to try and keep document sizes small so they download quickly and on mobile. OK, so I am comfortable publishing this. And I click Yes. And a few seconds later, the document opens up in, in the Plasticity web viewer. So I'm in Safari right now. And basically, every, the whole state of my viewport has been uploaded to the web. This is a cryptographically randomly generated URL with 256 bits of entropy. And so these URLs are basically unguessable. And so you can, but they're not password protected. You can share them with people. And it's you know hard for people to discover them. But what's cool is this is almost the entire like viewer experience of plasticity. You can, right, we're looking at a web browser right now. You can change the mat cap, you can uh, you can turn on and off edges. We can look at zebra stripes. Kind of doesn't make sense for a model like this. Um, yeah, all sorts of functionality. We can do a draft analysis, for example. We can do these kind of like um, isolines and so on and so forth. So it's really cool. I think this will be really fun to share with uh, for you to show off your cool models either privately with a client of yours and you only share the URL with one person or you can post this to Twitter and share with a million people. Um, all of your normal plasticity key bindings uh, basically work so you can snap to orthographic views while holding down alt for example. Um, you can frame the view with you know, the standard slash key bindings. All, everything basically works, just like plasticity. So it's pretty cool. And give it a try and show me all the cool things you're modeling in plasticity. Share the URLs in our Discord. And, and yes, uh, get accolades and become famous and rich and have fun. All right, thanks very much, everybody. And enjoy plasticity 2025.3. Happy holidays edition.